<laughs> so random. So random. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing my my dance. This one to the squatty potty. To the squatty potty dance. Hey, it's appropriate. Welcome to the show, everybody. Happy Friday. What's going on, guys? This may be the first live stream on the channel in like a month. <laughs> Must be. Got a notification. We are good. Clutch. Clutchy Poo is live on Twitch. I am not. This is good. Hey, that's a first, right? I mean, last time we did, we had we we had the inaugural first DJ Goham stream on Twitch. It was, yep, it was epic. It took what forty <laughs> minutes to realize. <laughs> I can't remember what what happened. How did we even figure out what was, you were live there? I can't even remember what it was anymore. Oh, someone uh, commented. E maybe. Yeah, someone commented and they're like, "Oh, D DJ, you're streaming." And they're, what's, they're, wait, 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 what? I says, "Pardon." Well, not today, man. Not well, today. There, there is one thing that I need to add to our dock. Uh, Crawl Farms and the Custom Mining are working on a wheeled 715 Zyger. Okay. It's okay. No okay. Deal. So we'll talk about that. Uh, big shouty out to my Discord for letting me know. It would, it would, no. Um, we got a lot to talk about today. Well, I mean, we missed a week, yes. So there's a little bit to talk about. But I mean, we've got more news now. We we have some news. Last week we did not have no news. There wasn't a lot of mods either, to be honest. So we're not. A, yeah, we only had mods five days in a row last week. But there was and, nothing really and mods like, five days in a row the week before. Was there anything that's like notable though? Really? I mean, it could have been, but we'll never know because we didn't do a top mod video last week. So go check out Farmer Cops, even though he does top mods the right way and completely different from the way I would do them. Definitely the right way, though. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, he just uses, like, whatever's the best rated. And those are usually not the best ones. So we'll tell you later in the video. Which sense. What are you talking about? We'll the tell you later in the, the video best. which mods you need to download. I'm going to tell you. Good daddy. You, and, and I feel like you don't know what you're talking about sometimes. I, well, all right, so look. So today and yesterday have been a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I've heard. Currently, it's been about a day and a half for me <laughs> uh it, it is uh 3 10 p.m i'm going on 12 hours awake yesterday would have been going on 13 hours awake at this point uh it was a long long day yesterday and i finally got in bed around 5 30 and fell asleep around 6 30. a, a long yeah. hard day eh? hmm. yeah and then i woke up at 3 30 scared See, this myself. is like stuff that you would have been normally doing about three four years ago though this would be like a normal day for you yeah yeah it really would have been so i would have basically worked from like eight until six and then slept from six to eight yeah. and then showered and then went to bed and worked from nine to like yeah i don't know three four yeah, back when you were it was back when he was known as fun dj and now he's not known as fun dj anymore <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> i've not been nice in my mod reviews lately or my news for that matter yeah we could talk a bit about that a little bit as well I guess we can. I guess we can. Uh, quite a few things to talk about. Um, we do have. We are going to talk a little bit about Omatana's name change. I don't know if she's around today or not. Maybe. Um, if she is, we will see. We'll also take a look at the uh, comment she made on the video a few days ago when we talked about her, um, as well as like a bunch of other modders. Oh, and uh, Mapper's Paradise and Celebuki have teamed up. Kind of. I, I like when. I, you know what? I like when guys team up. Moving on. We have a new DLC. I'm just saying. Which, which uh, the title of the stream, I believe, if it's not changed yet. Yeah. Uh, DLC or paid mod. And for once, I made the title. I'm I, I'm not even the one being crusty here, chat. It's not even Case Sims today yeah. being crusty about this. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about that a bit for sure. But I dove into a bag of shake and bake. A bag of chicken. It's crust. You said crusty, and my first thought was, "All right, how do I how do I bring up shake and bake?" I, I don't know, but that was not <laughs> the right way. But all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I'm. I, I want to hear your thoughts on that for sure. So we'll have to we'll have to dive into the mind of DJ Goham. Hopefully, you guys brought your cat herding skills in the chat. We're gonna need oh, them today. I will do my best. Hey, uh, you know, normally I don't drink coffee on the show, even though I say it's coffee. It's usually just a mug with monster in it. Yeah. How's that coffee treating you? Well, uh, this is uh, pot number two. Actually, 
I've been drinking so much coffee today that I almost brought the pot in here and just sat it on the desk beside me. Oh, I got new Legos, by the way. Yeah, we, we saw that was the members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kinda. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta show everybody later. We'll you were such later. a nerd. Today's gonna be a day. You have to hang out with it's us. It's been a day already, and we're, yeah. we haven't even started yet. And uh, we will definitely be asking you about your thoughts as well, because there's definitely some stuff going on that would be nice to see. I think the question really is, is DJ overreacting or uh, he is? Yeah, I guess, I guess he is. No, I, I, um, at this point in time, I, I'm not even sure. So we'll have to chat with the community a bit about this for sure. In the mind of DJ. Yeah, I know. We're going to find out what he thinks of everything. And then we'll let you guys have your, we'll let you guys sound off a little bit on this and see what you guys say. Can't be that bad, right? Um, are Unless we playing the game? No, we don't. We're not playing a game today. If you're here to watch a, a stream of somebody playing the game, I'm sure that somebody is doing that right now somewhere. Just, Just not here. Out. Just not there. Uh, we do have uh, a couple of people that have dropped their member member chats in there. We'll talk about them after we do the little little thing thing at the beginning where I go doop 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 doop. Uh-uh. You did a really good job there. That was close. Thanks. I've almost learned it again. I've forgotten the show theme. <laughs> Should I, we? I mean, I could just hit it. If you want me to hit it, should I hit it? Yeah, let's do that. And then after that, let's go do another thing. And then after that, we should do something else. And then we'll do the show. Or we could skip that third thing and we could just do the show and then we'll move that third thing to later. There's also another option if you want to hear it. I don't know what the third thing is. Thank you to G Portal for sponsoring this episode of the Farm Sim Show podcast. They host premium game servers for Farming Simulator 22 that work on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Clutch and I have both been working with them for the past few years, and they have hosted our public and private game servers ever since. If you're looking for an easy way to play multiplayer with your friends, this is the best way to do it. G Portal servers allow you to have full control over your game, what mods are installed, permissions, and the game can be available 24-7. For Farm Sim 22, they've got a few different server options from four players all the way up to 16 and you can get an extra 25 gigabyte of mod space choose between nine different server locations around the world to host your game and you're ready to go if you're interested in grabbing a game server for you and your friends use the link for clutch or myself at the top of the description and get 10 percent off all g portal game servers right now again thank you to g portal for sponsoring this episode of the farm sub show podcast i That's just in this I, room but i look like i've gained a lot of weight since then <laughs> Were you just using a filter? Is that what it was? No. <laughs> Not uh, now, and I wasn't then. There it is. I say, we usually have like a little button at the bottom there. There we go. See, I fixed it. Sponsored by G Portal? I fixed it. Yeah. They treat us well. Uh, yeah. And we got to meet a couple more people at PAX. We talked about that a million times now, so we won't bring them up. Uh, but we did have a good time. Looking yeah, forward to I'm... seeing Dave again later this year, hopefully. And that's what I got. Before we get into this. Uh huh. Don't bring it we up. We need to talk about what happened to your beard. No, no, we don't. We don't have to talk about that. All right, look, here's what happened. I woke up. <laughs> we don't need to talk about it. Let's I talk woke about up it. Saturday morning and I found 11 white hairs just spread out. A couple of them are on the side. I couldn't reach them. Um, and for the past few years, I have been pulling the white hairs out. And it hurts. But I don't, I don't want to color my beard i don't know i also don't want to walk around with a bunch of little white scragglies in my beard so right now you got beardless ham may go to scruffle ham at some point i don't know i don't really like the razor burn that i'm rocking right now so <laughs> i don't think you put a beard on my face here hang on this one there we go i could be like <laughs> wow yeah no you nope. want me to leave that on I feel like if you asked Chat GPT to draw creepy uncle, that's what you would get. <laughs> hey, Sonny, you want some candies? No. <laughs> no. Can you just reach into my pocket for these candies for a second? Uh, don't like that. Uh, <laughs> at least it's not a fanny pack. 
<laughs> oh, I did. I did. I got my got my face too close to a harvester. That's, that's <laughs> uh, I, I will say this. Uh, it has been hilarious seeing all of the different comments and nicknames that people have been giving me in the videos this week. Best it's nickname, all, nickname so far. What's the best one? Uh, You've seen. Some of them have been a little bit rude, but those are actually my favorite, but I don't remember those. We'll have to go back. Richard's had a couple as well. Beardless Yeah, well, ham. Richard's on top of it. Uh, it's uh, salt and pepper ham. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so keep them coming because I think they're hilarious. So if you get through the YouTube filter, thumbs up. Bring it on. Uh, what else we got? Should we talk about the new DLC? Oh boy, where do we want to start with this? So for those that are not aware, new DLC has been announced uh, coming out one week. Is that right? What's the date re release date on that one? Uh, that is Tuesday, uh, April 30th. 30th, April 30th. Mm -hmm. So we still got another week, week and a bit. Um, two weeks. Anyways, whatever. You guys know what I'm saying here. Yeah, it was three weeks from the announcement date. So, so uh, the name of this is the Productions Pack DLC, I believe is the official the name of this. Singular. Production. Production Pack. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, um, you gotta get words mean things, guys, apparently. Um, yeah. Uh, the the it, thing is, there, there's not a whole lot of production going on with the pack. Well, maybe that's why they didn't say productions. And it's not really farm related either. It's like business. Well, I mean, this is. Arms my good. this has always been my gripe with i mean even we go back as far as like global companies in farm sim 19 Ooh. i know it's a dirty word for you i get it but we talked about this and it's it's i i will give it the fact that it's a nice little add-on you know productions and the global companies thing. they're nice little add-ons you can do things that maybe just to extend the gameplay a little bit of farm sim right you can make things a little bit different you want to do you want to own a bakery you want to own whatever it is you want to run a flour mill fine you can do it but that's not really what farm sim is to me yep. i'm still arguing that fact in my head and meanwhile i'm more less farm sim is this farm sim is that and more yeah. just like I, I said this earlier today in my in my news video I said i'm i'm a digital farmer i'm not a real farmer yeah. There's a piece of equipment. Actually, we're going to talk about it later in the video. And uh, I was like, I don't, I don't know what this is. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's what. Uh, but you know, I, I like the productions. Uh, it's no, no, uh, no surprise. I do flower farming. <laughs> I, I harvest flower, uh, but I, uh, I see a lot of buildings and sheds in this pack, and and uh, DMI uh, Dutch Bunny. We're changing their name to design modeling and innovation perfectly timed with a dlc uh their mods are the ones where you are basically forced to download on every map that releases and, and so that's another thing as well right this so this is not an in-house built mod pack or mod pack dlc i should say right this is once again similar to pumps and hoses where it is a third party that's making this dlc to it some degree is that right? Am I saying that right? Yeah. The The thing about uh, DMI is they've never done anything like this before. They've never partnered with Giants on anything. Whereas there's a couple other groups like Vertex Design or or uh, <laughs> just a humble shed farmer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or uh, Creative, Creative Mesh, Mesh right? like we've talked about, like those guys uh, yeah. have... You know, I don't. I don't want to say earn their spot because Dutch Bonding have definitely got up there. But I think a lot of their downloads, probably more than half of their downloads, have come from forcing other people to download their mods. Yeah, it's always an interesting debate to be had on that for sure. Yeah, um, uh, let's talk about what this is to begin with, then we can kind of debate what it's not. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Yeah, that, you couldn't have said that any better. Man, that was so good. That was so good. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting 20 foot four new items um it's going to be 7.99 usd for everyone that's not or in the us if you're not in the US, i think canadian it's like 10 bucks to be honest yeah i have no idea what it is in europe um this is the pc obviously mac version you, xbox playstation everybody's getting this pack uh come april 30th and as we scroll down you're gonna see that it's mostly sheds yeah the uh these i mean so, for example, at the top right-hand corner, that one's listed as a vehicle and box storage shed, which 
and it's listed under storages, which just a heads up, there's no category called storages. We have silos. Yeah. But and, storages. Well, like a lot of these are listed the same thing, open front shed with bail storage under yeah. storages. And then vehicle storage shed, but it's in sheds and open front shed and sheds and bulk storage. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I, I, I'm going to go. <laughs> do, do you think that these will have like an auto load functionality, kind of like the storage sheds we have in the um, last DLC? If they don't, somebody's going to be real unhappy when they do their first look on this DLC. <laughs> and All right. His, well, there you go. Name rhymes with me, J Mo, ma'am. <laughs> rhymes actually really well with that. Me, J Mo, ma'am. Me, yeah. Wow. Who could that possibly be? he has got a weird name, whoever it is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's a couple neat. There's some neat stuff. The other interesting thing, of course, sulfuric acid. Now we've got is a is a is a type. Yeah, mix that up with the Lely Sphere with your animal bod product and create some uh, fertilizer out of it. That's kind of cool. I mean, uh, solid and liquid fertilizer. I assume this makes liquid fertilizer. Um, that goes a lot further than slurry does. So that's pretty yeah. cool. Um, it, I'm, it's, it's funny, though. You get stuff like this. There's nothing that really works with like pumps and hoses. Like I wish they would make it. So like pumps and hoses had like a spot where you could, if you wanted to use pumps and hoses along with it almost in a way too. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything, there's any way of doing that. They could make it so it was combinable. But anyways, I digress. Um, the one that caught me off on guard, or off guard, I should say, was the the washing drum. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. even, even though in the blog, I don't know if you noticed this, uh, but they actually referred to the Laylee Sphere when the washing drum was shown as the picture. And oh, really? When we got the stuff, I hit him up. I was like, hey. I don't know if I missed you, that. You know that these are in different spots, right? Like, this picture doesn't match what you're talking about. I was like, well, these are the screenshots. So Yeah. Well, All right. You have, like, a, a screeny up here I saw up in the top. They were looking at it. Where is it? There it is. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I kind of like the idea of that, right? Um, it, it gives potatoes more. Something else to do with potatoes, I guess, for those. I know there's, a, like, there's, a, there's definitely a dedicated group of people that love doing things with spuds. Yeah. So that's uh, just one more thing you can do with it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, solar panels are also playing a pretty big role in this too, right? Yeah. It says that it's extendable, but I don't know if you can buy like multiple of them and they hook together. There's also a picture at the top. If you go up to the top of the uh, kind of like a thumbnail today. Yeah. Where, we, where we've got the solar panel thing out. Unless they've taken that off. It's gone. That she got one, man. That ain't there no more. Well, we got six pictures and there's only five up there. Uh, anyway, so on our thumbnail, we've got the solar panel in the back and I used it. I know Mr. Silly P used it for his preview as well. Yeah. Um, and uh, which is pretty cool. But maybe they hook together kind of like the silos do now, the bunker silos. Yeah. I can't imagine walking up to it, hitting B on the controller and it extending. That wouldn't make sense, but you never know, I guess. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's interesting, regardless of which, it is kind of interesting. Another wind turbine as well, which, eh, okay. Um, Small wind turbine. Yeah, yeah, I guess. What was I seeing? There was something I was watching um, an actual real life video on on the YouTube's actually recently about uh, people doing like well, grape. Well, it was for wine, but it was grape harvesting. Mm -hmm. But they have a wind turbine that's powered by an engine. And it has to, they use it in the evenings when it's too hot to blow across their grape fields. Oh, very blow. interesting. And I, I, don't, I didn't get the whole gist of what it was about, but like, yeah, they have a wind turbine for that. So I was like looking at the small, small turbine and I'm like, well, it's kind of like the same size. Could you, would you ever have to use that? Anyways, I kind of hope not because that'd be one more thing that I wouldn't want to do with it. Anyways, moving along. I mean, that sounds pretty cool. It, it sounds interesting, I guess, right? Yeah. Um, This doesn't do that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't think so. I'm yeah. sure it just makes money, right? Yeah. Wash the drum's cool. Uh, Laylee yeah. Sphere's cool. Cleaner Tiger. Um, I think that does basically the same thing as a washing drum, more or less. The washing drum's interesting, too, because you can put a bunch of different crops in there, whereas yeah. the Cleaner Tiger... is just beets, yeah. right? I think it's just beets. It does cut sugar beets. It also removes the stones, but I don't know if it gives you stones or not. There's not a lot of information, and... No. I have some information that I don't think has been said yet anywhere, at least he, in our channels it hasn't. Uh, no. There are no fact sheets for this DLC. First DLC I can ever remember. Yeah, that's, I can't think of the last time that's happened. You're not wrong. Now, 
to be fair, I don't think anybody other than me cares about fact sheets. But I care about fact sheets, even yeah, on the DLC. I remember that, back in like before 19 launched, there was a, I had a debate with somebody about that. It's like, does anybody care? Like, give a crap at all about fact sheets anymore? Or fact sheets? Like, does anybody really will, will, will wait on Thursday for the fact sheets to come out with on bated breath? It's like, oh, the fact sheets are here. The fact sheets are here. No, it's DJ. He's the only one. And that was your literally your text message when he sends it to me. Uh, we got much selling sense. points as well, which is yeah, okay. but I, I don't want to be that guy, but they look almost exactly like the ones from Omatana's packs that had to have the names changed. So, like, what are we really getting out of this? I, I don't know about those. Yeah, that's a, a, yep, that's the thing. <laughs> that's the thing. Um, the vending machine, like, there's a lot of selling points here, guys. Like, I, when they say I, they've got. I mean, I'll 24 pieces of equipment in here or 24 things I've you're getting seen... like what five half is sheds half is uh, half is cell points which are also sheds <laughs> i guess technically really it's like five five kind of interesting mods in my opinion um i like the idea of the distro center i don't know exactly what how it's going to work yet but it looks cool we do have a couple mods at our distribution centers of sorts, our warehouses. Yeah, I was going to say, this would be super cool if we didn't already have a few that I think do the exact same thing. Auto-loading or not, you can... There's even one that we have now where you can set it up however you want on the inside and put the racks where you want yeah. them and do auto-loading if you want. Like, I hope it's... I don't know. I, ho I hope it's flushed out and properly done. That's my, my concern. Yeah. Um, and same with like the workshop. I hope this is a properly done building. This better not just be like a... Is there an interior for that that uh, workshop? Have they shown any interior pictures of it? Yeah, there's one. So that's one of the pictures. Yeah. And I think there's one more as there's well. There's one here, this one here. One. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it looks kind of neat on the inside to me. Yeah. Like, where are yeah, those looks flags okay. from it as well? Like, those flags, we don't have those flags in the base game. And why are there flags in the interior of a building? <laughs> kind of, I mean, I'm not, I'm not hating on it. I thought they would be placeables, but they're not showing up here. Yeah, um, because yeah, there's nothing really else as far as decoration or anything goes, right? Yeah. Um, the solar panel washing robot, interest interesting. So does that Very mean cool, yeah. our solar panels, or is it just the one solar panel is going to have a new gameplay element added to it? I guess. Well, that's the thing as well. How does it work? It says it's remote controlled in the uh, the blog, but mm -hmm. it. <laughs> there's a lot. It's, I there's mean, more it's questions under and answers. That's what it seems like to me. It's in miscellaneous, so is that miscellaneous placeables? Because it's got a little house, or is it miscellaneous uh, as the vehicles? Like the, this is information that we want to know, and it just there's a lot more questions than answers with this DLC, and I think people would either like it a lot more, or maybe not like it as much if we had some more answers. And that could be could be it. You're right. Um, it is. Like I, 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 this comes to the debate of this whole this whole farm sim show. Is this a DLC or is this just a mod pack? And okay, it is seven ninety nine. It's it's eight bucks. It's not going to break the break the bank. If you are someone who gets all the farm sim stuff, if you get every DLC, this is just another DLC. You're probably going to get and mess around with for a bit. You might find something in here you use every time. You might just be like, oh, I don't need anything in here anymore. I might I'll use it once and forget about it. That could be a yeah. thing too. But I don't know what to think of some of the stuff. It does feel a little mailed in right now. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I I mentioned. I, I mean, I went into my showcase of all the equipment on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, I went into that thinking in the preview, like I recorded the preview video early, as most people did, and I was like, oh, this is going to be a, a yeah fairly neat. And then like I pulled this page up on Tuesday morning. It's all the sheds. I'm like, what the heck, man. Like, it's a lot uh, of sheds yeah, that are I, almost the same. They're almost the same, and it's almost like they've got a bunch more on Mod Hub already that look real similar. Yep. Yeah, um, yeah. There's just like I'm really <laughs> I'm 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 hoping that there's some kind of an auto load feature because if these sheds, these ones here in particular don't have the auto load, yeah. they are the same shed. Yeah, there there may be some some upset DJ sharing his opinion even harder than he is now. Yeah. So I, it is new, some new stuff I, like the wash bays i, I like that that's kind of neat that's a new element uh, yeah. uh the uh, the fertilizer that's kind of cool 
it, yeah, for the price of just those those little features, the workshop, the solar panel, and the distro center, like that's the stuff I'm kind of looking at. Like, okay, that's neat. That's kind of different. Is that worth seven bucks or eight bucks? Yeah. That's a that's a hard sell for me. But yeah. whatever. Well, too, too with this one, Giants didn't make it. They're just publishing it technically. Yeah. So yeah. this is a third party DLC, which then leads me into that. Now this this is something that's very unfair for me to say, but I have to say it anyway. Yeah. I don't know what DMI modding did to to be able to have a paid DLC spot. Yeah, that's a that's a whole other debate. Um, like, what would it take? Like, what would it what what would be the policies going forward? I, and obviously, we don't we're not privy to this information. Yeah. But what 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 would it take for a modder like? for giants to put it out and be like hey you know what you want to become a paid part of the mod hub we'll we'll put your mod your mods in the mod hub but you and we'll make it in a paid section versus a free section almost like is that where we're going to start going now it's like it's just, i don't want to have this discussion because it scares the crap out of me yeah but at the same time it feels a little bit like we could potentially be going down that route i mean if you look at like look, other simulation I, type games yeah i will ask you this though let me so I'll tell you something that I would be okay with. And this is going to be the opposite way that you think I'm going to go. Okay. If we had like a couple of these a year, let's say, because Giants normally does what? Four to five pay DLCs for year one, year two. And then the past couple years, the last game for Farm Sim 19 and this game, year three has been one DLC and it's a paid DLC for third party. Yeah. Let's say Giants keeps that four to five DLC a year for year one and year two. But during year one, or maybe say year two and year three, we also have the creators DLC or the modders DLCs. Yeah. One of these irritates me because it's a lot of attention on one set of modders. Uh, I like Creative Mesh. I've met those guys. Maybe I would like DMI modding as well. I'm sure they don't like me because I've not been nice to their mods for years. <laughs> So this one's a little bit different too when it comes to that kind of thing. But if we had five pay DLCs from third-party modders every year, and like if Elmatana was able to do one, maybe 82 Studio dropped in one, uh, not only these guys, but like other people who get like an invite and say like, hey, we saw you did this uh, like Cultivator and it was really cool. Can you do Just like a whole, cultivator. It can was you do a whole pack of those? Like, you know, I just could you imagine the like okay for to get the invite from Giants and the the in, the the backstabbing potential that that could create? Yeah, like we already see a little bit of an issue at times with with modders. Yeah, um, I, I, I want modders right. to find a way to make to, to monetize what they do. Of course, like that would be great yeah. if they could make money doing. And to, to support their their hobbies essentially, right? Much like you and I do here. Yep. But at the same token, I, I wonder what that would do to the farm sim community if all of a sudden, because I'm I'm not saying the exact same extent where you are, where you have you know several of these mod packs are paid for. Yeah. Um, but I'd be more interesting where where you could almost have like a free mod hub and a paid for mod hub, and the mod the modder could choose which one their mod goes into. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Would uh, and I would say at that point, creators are probably not getting every every DLC anymore. <laughs> or partners, rather. No, not a uh, chance. By the way, uh, Mr. Marcel is in here. Hey, Marcel, uh, what's going on, brother? If you see mods releasing on Mod Hub, he is the man that does that. He's an awesome dude. We've also got a lot of other people in here. Dazed had a really good uh, point. It's been two years or uh, two games since we had this. Mm -hmm. uh, the I remember that that was huge in 19 like there was yeah. so many mods in that in that uh that competition right so about one year if you guys are unfamiliar about one year after the game was released they would do the mod up competition they would have it at farmcon I don't know if the voting was at farmcon but around that times when stuff would be thrown in oh boy uh <laughs> looks like guys for giant software are seeing the title and jumping in and showing their face hey guys what's up no, I'm not not breaking any of my my exclusive is gold. <laughs> uh, it was clutch. Clutch is, is yeah, his you can idea. Blame me. That's fine. I'll take. I can take the heat. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, but I, I think uh, with this, is it just because it's happening once, and we hardly know anything, and everything's completely different than any other release? That it's 
awkward and because it's a bunch of sheds it's really weird. i know like it, by comparison well, like if we, if we want to look if, we're st- if we stick in farms from 22 yeah the other mod pack mod pack and the other dlc that was done by a third party was pumps and hoses of course right yep and that brought a whole slew of really innovative and new gameplay features mm-hmm. it wasn't for everybody i agree but what it did do it did something that was completely different that hadn't been done in farmson before and now i look at this particular dlc and and like yeah maybe the the mods or the the items are going to be they could be high end they could be really cool as individual pieces but there's not that that big innovative piece there that's been missing from from farm sim like what pumps and hoses did so i look at that like when we're talking paid or dlc a paid mod or dlc it feels more like a mod in my opinion yeah. and it'd be closer and i'm like i said it just leads my mind down this whole this whole realm of what could we potentially be seeing going five years down the road i don't know yeah but i my at least this it's very uncomfortable the same way with uh the potato dlc back in harps of 19 three years ago yeah it was I, I was still a fanboy back then. Just everything was perfect in Farm Sim and nothing could ever go wrong. Um, but yeah, I've, uh, uh, thoughts and things have changed over the years and I try and be a little bit more uh, critical of things and not everything is sunshine and rainbows. Um, but well, uh, Omatana has a great point on this as well, though. If there were, if you were able to release a mod pack, right? Yeah. It would, I mean, it could imagine- inspire a lot more of the community as well to if they realize they could have a financial gain from it potentially like that could really help develop it, it I, it's a real i find that that's a, a bit of a tight walk at the same time like it's a that tight rope walk is that what i'm saying right you know what i mean yeah but, but yeah um, it would it would be super supportive to modders who are doing stuff and it would it would definitely give a lot more than just one team the thing i i will i will admit see every time we did something that wasn't giants related creative mesh's name was usually on it yeah so i'm sure a lot of people are like you know come on let's get somebody else but here you go you heard it here right first guys yeah. but i don't think this is what we meant <laughs> we'll bring the mod contest back i'll make it so oh, let's go. So. you heard him I don't know why we haven't done it in a while to be honest yeah I don't um know. how cool would that be it, it, like, I mean, I know we've we've got our we've had this debate before on like the Patreon sites for mods as well. Yeah. Does this change your opinion of any of that? What was it? Say it one more time. Like, like the mods that are uh, that are only released on Patreon for for purchase. Oh, I try and report those immediately. So, <laughs> well, who do you report them to? Is the problem right? Marcel. <laughs> yeah, but the, I mean, if it's a PC only mod, what is it? What can you do? Right. That's that, that's all. I can't do anything, but I can complain. Exactly. But so do does that I... does that change your opinion at all versus what could be could be potentially seeing in the future from in the mod hub, right? Like if you're having paid I, more mods potentially. I think if if you get to see some really interesting stuff, because I have said and and think okay. All right. Think about it like this. There's so many cool mods. Imagine seasons back in Farm Sim 17. So the reason that seasons are one of the reasons it came to all platforms is because they won the mod contest with seasons. Yep. And part of mod contests is you got to be put in a mod for all platforms. Yep. It may have been a different agreement, but that's the way it was. Sounds right. You go with it. Yeah. Imagine if that would have been a paid DLC. Would you have still paid for it? Oh, absolutely. 100%. Like the best mod that's ever been released for Farming Simulator. I think it, yeah, cool. exactly. It revolutionized farm sim for sure, right? So I think every year there's so many cool mods that come out for PC only first. Seasons was a PC only mod. Actually, almost all the mod contest mods were PC only. But all the yeah. ones that are super cool like that, like GPS or well, F12 is not gonna happen, but things that involve scripting, if they could come to all platforms and like once a month or once every six weeks, you had a paid DLC, but it added something like that to the game. Where would you pay for GPS for like yeah, for if sure. it was three ninety nine on Mod Hub? Yeah, sure. And I'm just imagine. Now that being said, I I think it's that, that like something along those lines should be base game, but um, right, right. that's yeah. neither here nor there. <laughs> well, hey, while they're here, I'm, I'm going to play my card. <laughs> if I have to be heavy-handed one way, I'm going to go the other way, too. <laughs> he said, LOL, no! <laughs> Busted. 
not, anyway, not listening so, to me at all. Mr. Marcel, come on. So I, I, I will say this. Have I personally been unfair to this DLC? Probably. Uh, I have my own personal justifications and, yeah. and dilemmas to work through for that. But that's that's a me thing. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like I know I, I'm out of this. I, context, I, I, if it was a normal this, thing, this particular DLC sits. If we just want to narrow it down, and like we've we've there's been lots of third party DLCs over the past ten years of Farm Sim. This is not the first time this has happened. But at the same time, yeah, it just just seems. I, it's like a bit of a mixed match of stuff as well. I don't know. I'm curious to see. Like, I want to play with it a little bit and get my head wrapped around it a bit more because it feels like we don't quite understand how it all works yet either. Yeah. The, and again, at least for me, because I, I feel like most of the time I'm a very good voice of the community, but with this DLC, it's been very much DJ in his opinion. <laughs> I'll admit it. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I see myself in the mirror every day. I know. I know what I look like. Let me alone. Do you really, uh, with that without that beater? Do you know what you look like? I no. All right. So I, I shaved Sunday, Monday morning. I looked in the mirror and almost scared. I was like, Whoa, "Oh, it's me. We're good." It was bad. Uh, instead of uh, paid mods on Mod Hub, having a way to properly donate uh, free of discretion would be a, a win for everybody. It's not a bad idea. You know, kind of like I, I actually yep. really do think that might be a really good idea to find a way of doing that i'm not sure how that would look or how that would work oh, exactly but put it in the put it in the mod up make it like a, a mic or not a microtransaction but I like mean, a there, youtube tip button right like the super yeah. chat button yeah there's no way to do it on on xbox or playstation it would be perfect but maybe like the the mod hub website so go on mod hub is there no way you could do that on xbox or playstation or anything there's no way that would well, work out can you imagine tipping to like 82 studio on the mod hub on xbox the the it would have to yeah, go to then the finances have Giants. to go through xbox they take their cut and then Giants it works its way take down their cut. Yeah. yeah granted i guess that's the way games work anyway and deals third-party dlcs is exactly what they were going to work because xbox is going to take their money and then giants will take theirs and everything yeah. else to go to dmi um, and, and Rob's not wrong. Like that's how itch.io does have that as an op. Like that's how their site works as well. For many of us who download third party mods for Farm yeah. Sim, there is an option right there. But I do, I mean, I like that. You know, if you've got somebody that's playing and wants to tip their mod or be like, you know what? I like this mod. Yeah. Instead of rate, you have, you know, donate or tip. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. Farming Simulator Mod Hub is very different than almost every other game out there. There's not a whole lot that's like it um so I, I that's why I'm, I'm very hesitant to look with that to even put in like a, or a request for my opinion on changes to the mod hub at all like a lot that, that's I'll, one of the reasons want... because i like the way the mod hub is right now in a way yeah. and i look at what other games have for their mod sections and it's like i don't want that yeah. <laughs> don't change please yeah. stay away those giants so I've thought about this a lot too. We're not going to get to any other topics today. We're already half done with the show. I know. Uh, Dave says he'd be down for a mod every I mean, a comment and donate feature would be good for feedback. So I like the comment like, idea as well. So you like the comment idea, but I feel like a lot of me like quit making sheds because that's, no what that's what I would want. That's what I would want. DJ Goham, no more three million flowers. DJ Goham, enough three million flowers. DJ go out. <laughs> I really like this mod. I didn't say anything nice about it in my video, but I really like it. <laughs> it, it, it make sure you like and subscribe, DJ Go Ham. It would oh, be every man. comment. That'd be that would be rough. <laughs> comments won't happen. Ain't got a moderator. I mean, we do have a moderator for comments already out there, so I think Mr. Marcel's uh, he's already yeah. put his hand up. He would love to have comments, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. And anyway, there, there's uh, I mean, there's a lot of really cool stuff that you could do, but yeah, like the comments thing. It's like, yeah, we're not doing that. I'm not I don't blame that. them for not doing it. I still would like to see some of the comments. It'd be funny. I could, I could, I could make, I could make content just based on the comments. I'm sure. Well, I mean, um, uh, a Looney Farm guy, he does a mod video on like every single mod. So yeah, that's basically does. the comment section for each mod. Mm hmm. So I should do a video on his videos. Uh, yes, every single one. <laughs> there, 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 hey, we just solved the problem. Mr. Marcel doesn't have to moderate. Looney Farmer guy gets to moderate all the comments. There Perfect. we go. You found somebody. You found somebody to stick with. 
<laughs> Ooh, preset reasons for a star uh, chosen be good. For modern understand why the rating's so low. Yeah. Or for people like me trying to figure out why a map gets a hundred votes before it even before I can even get a video that's, out. That's what you need to ask but, right there. But I also understand like uh Cali, uh said Cal or K A seven seven E that released their their map today. Yeah. Uh, their maps have done extremely well. They have seven seven maps on mod up right now. Uh, to be fair, I think one or two of them are the, the same, but they're just different names. Uh, you've got uh, the Westworld, Fruiting, 2K23, Ribak, the White Farm, St. Cali, Bouchon. I love when we <laughs> mentioned somebody and they always just manage to find their way. They're, they're here waiting ah! it's like in the background listening. Uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. There he is. Yeah, just go bug him. He does a video for every mod. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, Looney. <laughs> um, yeah, that would be... Uh, it would be, it'd be good, yeah. But I, I think for this DLC specifically, I would like to have more information than what has been given to start with. Yeah. Once again, and and if there's no, I and mean, usually for DLCs we don't get many blogs. There's no. only one thing that we don't know how it works, really. Maybe two. Yeah, there's a couple things. Like I said, it's there's nothing revolutionary in this yep. in this pack by any means. What if there is? And nobody think there is? Tell us. I, I don't, don't think there is, but what if there is? Uh, we'll see. And then Anyways, I have... I'm not not extremely excited for it. That's a, I think that's the last thing you guys could... It's not my type of pack. You guys know this. I, it, you... The production stuff has never been my thing, um, which is weird because global companies, I kind of enjoyed using productions. I've been a little less about using for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know what happened to me. I must have hit myself. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but I'd be interested. Do you think this is the last DLC for 22? And that being said, I, I will also say this. Usually by now, we know something about the next game. If not by now, soon. I I'm puckered down, right now. I'm not going to lie. I had written down a day. So in two Thursdays it is Thursday, April 25th. I, John, Sometimes they talk I, about stuff on Thursday. I said last last Thursday was, was this, the first Thursday of April was my date in my mind. Yeah, that we'd learn something. I think I text messaged you, and I'm like, um, nothing going on, right? No news, and you're like, nope, I haven't heard nothing about anything going on. I'm like, great, that's unfortunately well, that's my date. Me, that's why you asked me that day. Yeah, because I was just making sure I didn't miss something, and okay. I'm like, I'm going through all my social media feeds. I'm like, I don't see sure. anything, and that's why I sent you a text just to find out if you heard anything. I'm like no, I heard nothing. What are you talking about? I'm like, eh, just wondering. How was well, my and date? Then, and then, uh, like in May, if they're going to do anything in May, the 25th is Saturday. Now let me ask you this: the 24th. I don't think Farm Sub 24 is going to be a thing, but if it is, May 24th is a Friday. The Thursday, Wednesday, April. Man, today's the 12th. I don't. I don't know. I just thought the first the first week of April was my guess was when they were going to at least put something out, some info out because you know it's spring oh. start happening things yeah. Let things are a little stagnant a little bit it feels like and it's like oh here guess what yeah. boom let's fire it up well let me oh, yeah. let me hit you with some some truth serum stuff oh boy I believe hang on a sec hang on a sec hang on a sec go simple hats on everybody so I believe Thursday April twenty second was when they talked about Farm Sim twenty two. That was, what, was April twenty second, twenty twenty one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the twenty second of April. Go all the way back to twenty eighteen. The first time we learned about Farm Sim nineteen was on Friday, March 9th. and I know this because that's the day I started YouTube. And the first I woke up and saw Squad had released a video at like four or five in the morning, and I was like. <sighs> All right, I'll make a video. <laughs> no, that's what it was. So, but, and this is all assuming that we're getting another game. What if, what if the, what we're doing now is nothing? What if it's a 26? What if we wait a whole other year? What if there's more DLCs? Well, we don't have a year three DLC, but we also don't have an announcement. You see, I don't you know what spot happened. Right here? You see that spot? What's, uh, uh, that's going to be clutching the fetal position in that spot right there. 
I'm going to be sitting there with my hands between my legs crying if we don't get an announcement in the next month. Did you hear that? Mr. Marcel. Don't make make me cry. Don't make him cry. I will cry. If you make him cry, then I'm going to cry. And I like never cry. Don't make me cry. Yeah. There's a there's a really No one wants good... to see a grown man with his shirt off crying in the corner, okay? What to do? Stay up all night. Something could happen while you sleep. Don't no. No, I haven't slept for <laughs> crap the past two days. I'm not doing oh, it. Oh, I dare you release it at like two o'clock in the morning, his time it'd be perfect. That's what they did for Farm Sim uh, nineteen. No, they released funny. pictures. What was the map they released on? It was uh Estancia Lapacho. They did Farm Sim. 17 versus 19 for a Stancy Lapacho. Yeah. The fetus position? No, fetal. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> Did I say fetus? Did you? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think I said fetus position. I'm pretty sure I said fetal. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> they, well, they are torturing me, yeah. <laughs> but I tell you what, if uh, if we can get another couple really cool DLCs for uh, for 22... I, maybe, I don't think we're gonna get any more. I think this Nancy is Nancy Ferguson, maybe a CR eleven, maybe you think some we'll see Macidon. I know there's, like, I know there's like. a screenshot that you've seen at one point in time that disappeared all of a sudden. Oh wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do we still have those leaked pictures from mm. like a year ago mm-hmm. in the in the thing? I haven't seen them for a while. I don't know what happened in to the them. Google Drive. I don't even know if we're allowed to talk about this. Oh, I don't know, where are they? Years, let's go for it. Let's do it now. Yeah, it was, uh... <laughs> Marcel, he's probably like, huh? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> and, and I'm pretty sure uh, <laughs> Kermit is as well. Uh, let's see. Farms to Show podcast. Leaked pictures. Oh, wait. Well, we got one of these. Yeah, but there was one we didn't have, I thought, if I remember correctly. Yeah. No, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's in Gleaner, too? He's like, what leaked pictures? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one of these we got. Where's the leak? This was like a year ago, and the person that sent me these said not to say anything, but they saw stuff at an event, and it was at a Massey booth. Hang on. Present. I'm going to get myself in trouble, but, but I don't know if I will or not. Nobody told me not to share these. <laughs> <laughs> Except for when they sent it to you. Don't share these. But it wasn't anybody from Giants that sent it. It was like a, a random person. Huh. Window, Chrome tab, entire screen. Hey, I, I never get to like 10 full hat stuff. These, you remember this? Yeah, I remember this. All right, look at this. All right, so I don't remember where this was from or when it was taken or anything. But we, this was before that Baylor was released, and we got it. <laughs> Kermit leaked pictures. <laughs> I'm wide awake right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> but that's not the one. No. This is. And I just realized that there was also something else in these pictures that I didn't notice. The 6S and the 7S. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Where's... That just uh, uh, Kermit, why don't you? Wow, all the hype for that! Hey, <laughs> look, look for our for our for our viewers at home that are listening with uh with their headphones on and nothing else. Uh, person in charge of Mod Hub just uh trolled me hard in front of everybody. Where's this? Where's this? Uh, the the mower? Hmm. But what? I did... know. Like, I think we talked about this briefly. And we're like, well, maybe it's like a Massey Ferguson DLC pack coming. And I mean, we got a 6S. We got the 7S added to the game. Oh. And, a, and a free pack thingy. They got the Baylor in it as well. Or some yeah. mower. I haven't seen that mower anywhere. I haven't seen this mower anywhere. And this person had four seconds left and they decided to take this picture. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> this was 18. Yeah, this was a long time ago, right? This the is... mower so big, <laughs> my job. I mean, custom stuff at public events <laughs> is far Shh, from elite. Kermit, be quiet. You're Shush. wrecking the show. <laughs> Just saying. Anyways, I still don't think we're going to see any more DLCs. That's my my personal opinion. I think we're done. If you're going to ask me with my tinfoil hat on what's happening, mm. this well, is I'd... it. Cool. Well, I'm reading way past that. 
I know I'm, you always do. I'm hearing that they exist because Marcel said this on his hard drive, which I, I don't believe him, but he didn't say it wasn't real. And Kermit, it, he just said the whole thing. Having custom stuff from a public event is far from elite, LOL. <laughs> that means it's real. When are we getting it? I want that mower. I mean, they could probably get you a Kubota one with a Massey Ferguson branding done tomorrow if you want it. Man, look, I own a I own a Kubota mower. You know how hard <laughs> it is for me to go in and be like, hey, so you guys don't know me, but I'm a huge fan. I am, I am, and I'm kind of a big deal. Is that how you, you, we were just talking about this beforehand. This is how you start your conversations, right? <laughs> yeah, don't, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Spill out the form like everybody else. So do you still think we're going to get another DLC? <sighs> I mean, I, I'm assuming you're in the same bandwagon as me is thinking there's going to be a game announced in the next month, within the next month. Well, it has to be. Unless it's not the Gertie Rider Fab. It's the Gertie Rider 2020. Get it right. <laughs> it's the GR 2020. <laughs> I have a small Kubota mower. Like, I, you, you, you assume, like I do, that we're going to see Farm Sim 25 or whatever it's going to be called be announced okay. for this fall maybe, release. Maybe it's a name change. What, what? Farming, farming simulator online. Oh, can you imagine? Like, uh, was it Ubisoft just shut down the uh, the servers for uh, crew? And people I was just can't... watching uh, Linus talk about that. Yeah, I was yeah. Watching last night. Oof. It's rough. Yeah. Wait, so you do watch Linus Tech Tips? Of course I do. Thought you said you didn't watch him. Yeah, I watch him all the time. Hmm. It's you I don't watch. It's different. Ah, uh, okay. Different. That hurts. So you're in the same boat as me, though. You think there'll be some kind of announcement within, do you think a month? You think by the end of the month? The Farm Sim 19 was announced in March. Then yeah. Farm Sim 22 was announced in April. Farm Sim 23 was announced in March. We're going to go May? Do you think May then? <laughs> Maybe it's April again if they're going back and forth. I have no idea. Do you, do you just, are you assuming, like, what, what, what is your gut telling you? We're going to get an announcement trailer within the next month? My or gut what? tells me I don't know anything because <laughs> there's no pattern. It's so stupid. So quit looking at the pattern. What do you think is going to happen? I don't think anything, but I know what I want. You know, really? You're going to play that card. You, you don't think we're going to get an announcement then? I mean, well, we have to. Well, they always, well, I say always. There is no pattern. Don't look at the pattern. What do you think's gonna happen? Quit looking at the pattern. <laughs> gut tells me I'm hungry. Yeah, my gut tells me the same thing. We need to order some. Trying to add, get you to answer a question. <laughs> All right. I, I I still he said I can guarantee that whenever we have an announcement, it will be announced. That's PR talk. You reading that? I want food. <laughs> This is the stupidest show ever. <laughs> I got an email. He's trying to get an answer out of Goham on what his opinions are. Sometimes or he won't give me them half the time either. Well, I, I still say. Are you April, still looking at, you're looking at dates still. Yeah, because that's that's what tells me. There we go. April 25 announcement. April 25th. You think? That's what I'm going for. Lock it in. Okay. So you, you think there will be a new game this fall, though? I really hope so. Me it too. seems like there would be because they're following the so. same pattern they did with one or with nineteen when it comes to DLCs, like and I the said, third party one was the last one. Giants would never put me in a corner crying with my shirt off. There's no way. Not in the fetus position. <laughs> not, definitely not in the fetus. Especially with none of that on the back of your neck. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, what about other DLCs then? Okay. If that were if that were true, if no, that no. were all 100 percent true. Don't what you just balance. predicted. Will it be another DLC for this game? For Farms in 22? Uh, if, if they're going to wait until then. Wait, no. It, ha, there's no way it could be then. The DLC comes out the week after. There's no way. Because like we would probably get early access sometime around then. There's no way. Oh, I don't know when it would be. Wait, is there a 15th? Is there, oh, there's a 15th on a Wednesday. That's got a 5 in it. Arms of 19 was announced on the night. It's not unheard of. They've done it before. It could it could also be the 5th, which is a Sunday, but that is a, a that is a divisible into 25. 5 times 5 is 25. I know guys, my five times gi guys at Giants, I know you're watching. 
I just love that you mess with him so much with dates. Like Dude, you make him. Do you remember the Kubota the, video I made? The squirrel going on and off. Yeah, if you please, whenever there is an announcement, do the Kubota stuff again with the weird like graphic of some sort. Because I, I just want to see his the little squirrel in his head run off the tracks again. I just want to point out that that's the only DLC I've made that video for because they didn't tell partners ahead of time. I don't know. That if was amazing, by the way. That was like my favorite farm sim show we did was was talking to you about that that graphic and you watching the little squirrel. Just like oh, it was perfect. It couldn't it couldn't even be any better. It was awful. I hated that. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> and to be fair as well, Richard Dower was was kind of to blame for some of it too, because he posted a picture of the the tractor like almost perfect that would fit into it yeah anyway so yeah I, i'm thinking but now I, there's no way it could be april because april the 30th is the last day of the month that is when the dlc comes out we know this this is real information it got down all announcements <laughs> for the future must be cryptic no what <laughs> why did i make him a moderator oh <laughs> uh, please please do so then, okay, so go back then, to like the binary code. Like, was what was the one with the binary code? God, was all, that was it too? I think was that was that Kubota as well with the binary code on it. I think yeah, because it, it was like a code that <laughs> they read like for all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was whatever, the the Kubota whatever. slogan. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, farm for all or something. I don't know. Oh man, see that was awesome. That was a really good release. I liked what they did with the Kubota yeah. stuff. Now Wednesday um, May first, I have a haircut. I don't think they would announce it that day because the <laughs> DLC comes out the day before then. Because you're getting a haircut, is that why? You know? But they I am getting schedule. haircut. They got my they got my schedule. I I got a haircut that day. They know not to release stuff. And then there's no way they would do it the next Wednesday because that is early access to the micro center that's coming to Charlotte, North Carolina, which I plan on being in line for. So there's no way that they would do that. Oh, in a month, sweet. Um. I don't know what he, Chad. I, this is what this is my conversations with him behind closed doors too. By the way, <laughs> also have a haircut on May twenty second. What if they did it on the twenty third? I mean, sure. Like I said, I don't, I don't oh, read into it no. as much as you do. I got it. I know exactly when it's gonna be. I'm gonna write it down too. Okay. And it's a troll move by Giants. I could, I just, because oh, this is what I would do. Tuesday. <laughs> They make announcements on Tuesdays, right? Yep. yep. Tuesday, May 21st. That seems way too late. Because uh, there's no Farm Sim 21. That's why they would do it. It's a troll. <laughs> Holy. Chad, I'm sorry you had to listen to this for the last there's hour. A, there's a microphone. I need to drop it. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna wreck that microphone. It's an SM58 too. <laughs> Still better what I'm using. Um, I was about to say it's an expensive mic. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta put it back. All right, so we've come to the conclusion that within the next month and a half, according to DJ, we'll have an announcement trailer. Um, Criminator or um, Mr. Marcel, you can agree or disagree with what DJ is saying right now. Would be great. Choose um, I gotta write it down. I'll forget. You know what? Maybe you should just reach out to us and have us do the um, the announcement. I think that would be the way to do this. I don't know. He's writing it down right now. See, I think we should be the ones to do the announcement. I think the Farm Sim Show exclusively should do. Right? Am I am I wrong? I think I think that should be the announcement should happen right here. Right? How about right now? We can do it right now, guys. I I have another day written down as oh boy speculation day. You know what? You could give DJ the date. He'd probably you give him like four days oh. and just watch his head spin. It was Monday, uh, Monday, November 25th. That was the day that I thought it was going to release. I still say it is, but I think Tuesday, May 21st. I don't want to wait that long. That's way too long. Please do it like next week. That'd be super cool. <laughs> but man, he's a hammer. <laughs> it's still work. It would. It would. It would. But it's, it's not brand new. It's I don't know, six or seven years old, but it looks brand new actually what a farmer cop used while he was here. That's why it's right over there. He's just <laughs> saying his bet uh, will all be wrong. Ah! <laughs> I mean, it's probably a reason I've never won the lottery. So, <laughs> uh, Well, 
I, I think we've debated that to death. Um, I, we're both in agreement. We think there will be an announcement at some point soonish. Mm -hmm. I think we're a little bit disagreeing on the dates. I don't know what. I really don't even know what date he thinks anymore. But whatever. Tuesday, May um, first. It'll be November. We'll get a release. Is my guess as well. Unless we won't. I think. I think we'll. I'm. <laughs> Look, the last time we stop. thought Farm Sim was going to come stop. out, it did. Stop, DJ, go have you stop it. We thought Farm Sim 21 was a real thing for almost a whole year until one day there was like, no, that's not a real thing. And and we had to tell people. Yeah, yeah but th that was the same thing with Farm Sim 24. There was people that if you go on YouTube, you could search up Farm Sim 24. And there's videos of people putting stuff out for that, too. It's you true. didn't. I had, I had so, no, I didn't. No, I had somebody uh, commented on uh, one of my videos today. Actually, they said, "So does this?" Oh, it was the DLC announcement? They commented today. and said, "So does this mean there's no farm some 24?" <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's gonna be a farm some 24. We would have had that announced um, about six months ago. What if farm some 24 was farm some kids this whole time? <laughs> Where's that tinfoil hat comment? I need to put that. Back. <laughs> what if it was supposed to be farm sim? <laughs> I'm, kidding, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that beard. When you shave the beard off, it might have taken some uh, some IQ points with you. <laughs> no, now you could just see through the facade. And that was yeah, funny. see, Rob's right. I agree. Four years. I think two, I think three years is too long. Personally, I like the two year cycle personally, but that's just me. Yeah, I know giants will tell me will say oh, they do the extra year to develop stuff. I get it, but at the same time, as a content creator, when there's new, fresher stuff, I like it. So mm -hmm. of course, I'm going to say every two years. Let's see where you're at in two years. That's great. Oh, you got a new game? Perfect. More content. Let's go. I love it. No, there's Anyways. been four or five desktop versions of farm sim since I've had a girlfriend. <laughs> that's so funny. Really, that like on now is how many how many game versions of the game has been the DJ's girlfriend's still attesting. I was like, all right, so farm in twenty fourteen there was Farm Sim thirteen was out, but only for half a year. Anyway, I was doing really sad math. Yeah, don't do not do not do not judge farm math. sims on the amount of girlfriends you've had. <laughs> Hey, at least yeah. Well, I heard you say like, yeah, four years is too long. Really, three years too long. I'm like, oh, what about ten? <laughs> <laughs> about eleven. Uh, <laughs> apparently, the the real uh, Rignal's advice is to grow a beard. Listen, I've already showed off my beard. Is this the one? Nope, that's not it. Is that the one? There we go. How's oh, that beard? That better? It's still better than Goham's right now. <laughs> Yeah, we got a couple in here. There's a couple beards I can do. There, that's the one we had, right? I really don't like that one. I think that's how we should finish the show off. No, I... <sighs> listen, it's not nearly as gray as my when I grow my actual one out either, which is kind of nice. <laughs> like, there's a patch right over on the side here that's that is just pure grayness. Fair enough. Yeah. Um. We did not even get through any of the show. We got through the first topic, and I had 10 more. Well, that's a good thing you wrote all that stuff down. Man, I tell you what, I work so hard. There's even a script for all of it. There is. Yep. Uh, Want to go over some top mods of the week real quick? Let's let's talk quickly about it. Let's go. You got you got a whole list here. I do, and, yeah. And there is some pretty good. There was some good mods recently this week that came out, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, well, and big shout out to Giants as well. After the the new QA office in uh, Brno, uh, in Czech Republic, uh, has opened up, and some of those guys have uh, gotten to work. Let me tell you what, mods have been going crazy. Used to it was once or twice a week. Yep. We got mods three times this week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it felt weird because we got mods for ten days or for two weeks straight, Monday through Friday. Even one of those days, Giants wasn't in the office on a good Friday. Still got mods. Bam, mic drop. Uh, anyway, uh, so we've gotten mods 13 out of the last 15 work days, Monday through Friday. Super cool. Uh, John Deere Model A was released this week by EY Modding, brand new to all platforms, as well as the John Deere S7 from Agritono that released today. Uh, also, Agritono released the Case IH Axle Flow 30 series a few days ago. Super cool uh, medium to large uh, combine, if you guys want to go with that. Also, if you want to use... Uh, Case Tools, there's a, the IH770. It's just 770 on ModHub. 
I don't know why they didn't put Case IH or International in front of it. You've got logos for both, including South American logos for those two. And then one that released today called Rent Your Stable. It is, it, I don't like the beard. You got to get rid of that, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm just watching your face every time you look at the screen. It's making I me laugh. Like, I don't like, that's why I keep looking this way. Like, uh, uh, nope. I'm staying on for the rest of the uh, show. One of us has to have a beard. That's the rules here. <laughs> so uh, Rent Your Stable is very cool because there's, I don't know, there's like 15 placeables or something in it. You can place them either outside or inside uh and uh and then you're good you're just good to go i don't i don't like looking at him me totally wasn't working on the bank holiday <laughs> you, you're on right now you super rock um <laughs> a couple updates that you need to be aware of for all platforms that released this week the lizard track series uh was also released on pc as the uh, mercedes-benz mb track those got updates got a brand new version in there i think a 440 or something like that Anyway, uh, it's definitely worth checking that out. Fit 900 Vario S4 was released today. Update. I basically redid the whole mod, so check that out if you like Fit mods. Um, Farm Mods TV, who's on my Discord, and sometimes he's in streams. Uh, he released his update to the Anthem 654 pack, made it even better, as well as the best way, Ag Retriever from Solar Guy. Uh, didn't work the way everybody thought it was going to work when it released, and now it works the way it's supposed to. And then the uh, Greenhouse Modular by Caster was also updated a bunch couple new wow. mods for pc and mac players none of very crazy uh crash 65032 released uh, i think wednesday a uh, new one for pc and mac players just a semi truck we'll probably see a lizard version of that soon uh the last teagle mod was released today from jhht and sid Monty, their partnership with them uh, as well as the enhanced mixer wagon it doesn't mix immediately anymore which is kind of neat it's uh, a little more realism realism ish yep. i yep. like it yeah like and then your- uh Couple, uh, couple good updates for PC. The Krovitz K700 was updated. Again, the Mercedes B track was updated. Uh, unload bills early. I think that now works in multiplayer. So that's kind of neat. And then uh, two mods that are just so stupid. The enhanced water mod uh, didn't work because the the line of code to make it work wasn't in the game when it was released. <laughs> so that's been updated. It was also not removed from the mod hub in that time. And the uh, RVM PK1, which was released and wasn't in the mod <laughs> you downloaded the mod but it just wasn't wasn't in the game it, yeah. Um, uh yeah so those were uh uh yeah the uh the agritonos s7 today was kind of nice i have to admit i was pretty excited to see that yeah uh, you got the five yeah, six, today, right? seven, yeah. five six seven and eight or six seven eight and nine hundred somewhere around there. there's four four models one of them's got one engine the other one has three yeah, that one, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just looking at the ratings on that, and Agritono's got um, some good ratings so far. So if you are liking that mod, go rate it. It's at 4.9 for the the uh, the combine, and the uh, the header's yeah. at a 5 even. Yep, and uh, the header works great with it. It's 13 point something meters. It's ridiculous. It's, a, it's John Deere corn head. Uh, so that is uh, that is very neat. Um, there was something else I was going to say, but I don't remember what it was that I was going to say. Yeah, all right. Had some pretty cool mods. Uh, a couple maps as well. Check those out. The uh, Westerwald, or Vestervald, however you say it, from Cali. Uh, 191 votes. It's gotten a, a hundred more votes since we started the stream. It's a lot. So, That's a lot. Go check it out. Must be pretty good. It's very That's small. Good. So, yeah. Did you get through everything there quickly? I mean, you ran through a lot of mods. Is there anything on the list? I'm looking through the list here. I can't see through my beard. To uh, see the there, rest of them. There was one thing that I wanted to announce. Oh. Um, oh. From a oh. modder. Not for me. Oh. Uh, Sid okay. Modding. Uh, <laughs> nah. Uh, it's still been 10 years. Uh, Sid Modding uh, has got a new partnership with High Ground Ag. Oh. This is neat. So he entered a new partnership with them. Uh, they're a custom fabrication company. Uh, for agricultural tools based out of Greenville, Mississippi. Uh, They design fertilizer and uh, sprayer accessories, as well as poly pipe rollers, which I don't know how we would use those in the game, uh, but we can use fertilizer spreaders. So that's pretty cool. Their fertilizer kind of, it's like a cultivator with fertilizer going through it. Um, uh, Peyton Potter, 155 on YouTube, said the machine knives granular fertilizer on the side of the row, similar to strip till, uh, but side dresses. Interesting. I'm curious. I don't know. You got me. It puts the fertilizer in the ground instead of putting it on top. Yeah, on top. 
Yep. Uh, they also like the uh the anhydrous stuff that we're kind of making a bit right now, right? Same idea. Yeah. Um, and then uh, they also have stuff that like goes on the back of um, like your Mahindra or the John Deere. And I use those as fertilizer spreaders. Yeah. I think those are just strapped down, I believe. But ah, it's kind of cool. And there was a couple people that commented in my video earlier that said, hey, I've known the owner of that company forever. I went to high That's school cool. with him. And somebody said, hey, I'm really good friends with the owner of that company. That's awesome. It's like, ah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's very cool. Um, but yeah, as far as all that, um, I don't know if we really mentioned at the beginning, Omatana had two of her mods uh, names changed because they were too similar or exact to uh, Farm Production Pack. Uh, so those names have been altered. Um, I hope that we don't have to see that going forward. I think this was an oopsie. I'm assuming DMI probably just didn't even look to see. Didn't even know. And, I'm hoping and, that's all it was for sure. Yeah, that seems yeah. a little shady otherwise, but hopefully that's all it was. Yeah, um, mistakes happen. I make them every day. And uh, but malicious things are, are not good, but yeah. hopefully. Uh, but otherwise, that's really just about it. Celebuki and Mapper's Paradise are teaming up to uh, do a couple stuff. Check out my uh, video from today and Wednesday for that. Class American Icons Big Bud Series 1s with Giants waiting testing currently. Yep. Solution's modding are finishing up their Unimog for all platforms. And older ones. see another Big Bud coming out to the Mod Hub potentially. Yeah, it's got the Welker logo for it too. Mm, which is cool. very I'm, cool. It's, I'm game. It's kind of interesting to see yeah. Big Bud making a, a return. That's cool. Yep. And Lancy Boy, after four years... Uh, is doing another English style map. Last one he did was Oak Hill, if you remember that. I released yeah, yeah. in. in uh, uh, I played the snot of that one, to be honest with you. Win T twenty, I think was That's the back last when I played still European maps. <laughs> when I was more bigger into those. Yep. Um, good. I'm, I'm. Let's see what he's got. I'm game. You always know it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. Uh, was there anything? Oh, uh, my HVAC went out. It's gonna cost you a bit, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it was. I mean, it was enough to where I asked my Discord the other day when I found out. I was like, make sure you guys watch the ads and don't. Is that why you shaved? Day. It was getting so hot in there. I I went through a lot last weekend. I mean, a, I, bit a, mid, a midweek crisis. Is that why you shaved? You wanted to change it up a little bit? There was just a lot going, going on. Like you know how when people like start to go crazy, they shave their head? Yeah. You, yeah. you had your Britney Spears moment. Is that what you're saying? Let me tell you what. Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday last week, we didn't do the show, which was good because yeah. I had to have an electrician here and they had to flip every switch. So this room, this is my office. This room shares breakers with the hallway right here, yeah. as well as the living room at the uh, end, uh, down yeah. there, basically my movie room, more or less. And that was on a similar breaker to the overhead lighting which is downstairs. The whole downstairs is on one outlet because there's okay. or one breaker. So all this is on a 20. The other one's on a 20. It was a two-sided breaker. So it was like a, a regular breaker slot, but I had two 20-amp thingies on both of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. That makes sense. It, I guess it's something they used to do a lot back in the day or whatever. So, yep. so for that, those two things were on the same breaker, just, you know, one on one side, one on the other. Well, Every time I cut on the receiver in the movie room, the power, the battery backup, which is here, if the power goes out while we're doing the show, I still have power for like five minutes. Yeah, It would beep and reset. <laughs> it would click because you hear the fan come on like it's like be like, oh, I lost power and the lights would flicker. And I was wondering, I was like, why does it do that? But like when I'm in here and I turn my computers on, it doesn't do it only <laughs> with that. And it turned out that the breaker that was on the outlets had gotten so hot, something had happened on the inside that the a breaker had cracked. Yeah. And it was open and it was arcing to the other side of the breaker yeah. every time I turned stuff on. Hmm. And so I would turn that on and then all the stuff in here would get boop, 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 and the lights would flicker and everything. And I got it set up. Well, your house, that house is pretty old, right? It's like a... 68, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Almost... Almost, man. Just <laughs> almost. Just a almost. Child. Leave me alone. Oh, um, fair enough. Well, you got yes. so um, now yes. you've got to replace your HVAC and get that set up. HVAC and uh, it's either ten or twelve. Um, did you do it recently? Like, didn't you do some of your HVAC? You were saying like two years no, ago, oh, uh, last year. So the same company they've been uh, looking after it, 
but evidently the uh, the company they switched beards. Yeah, and his isn't even real. How do you know? <laughs> How do you know this isn't real? Yeah, because it's Tony. Tony knows. Um. Anyway, so they they come every six months to to work on the the unit, just kind of like a home care plan kind of thing. Oh, like, okay. Hey, look at it so that nothing happens. And evidently, the people that have been looking at it, uh, it needed to be replaced years ago. Evidently, and they didn't want to have to tell me, so they've been doing little repairs to it so that it didn't have to be replaced. So they've been doing me a solid, but uh, yeah, let's just say. <laughs> in its current state if it's on and you touch the side it will you will cease to to exist <laughs> yeah, don't say, touch that bar that's back in the back there either that that could hurt yeah uh, that the, big little bar don't grab onto that the 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 guy here is like yeah it looks like they've been putting duct tape on a turd <laughs> speaking of turds Thanks, uh, how man. did you wake up this morning what happened uh, never mind i may have I may have made a, an air sound and it scared me. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Anyway, so um, so I've got like 10 or 12 breakers that have to be replaced okay. because they're all like the one that was causing issues. They haven't broke yet, but well, I don't know. So I have to do that and the HVAC. Good luck with that. Thanks, ma'am. So, uh, I mean, yeah, it makes me feel are... better. I may have to build, buy a new PC or build a new PC here sooner than later. <laughs> Alex. Alex, nice what's going on, on, brother? Nice work. What are you doing, dude. man? Knock it off. <laughs> the nice $49.99. Uh, we did have a bunch of people in here today. Can I give a couple shouty outies? Yeah, let's do it. By all, all means. Right. So, Mr. Alex wore with the shouty outie. Age back fun. Let's be fair. Some of that will be nuggies. Uh, <laughs> Larry said, Clutch with beard looks good. and like DJ's double chin. Look. So, next, uh, we got Nathan343. <laughs> up bro uh, he said i've been a member of the for 28 months where does time go i don't you you became a member of the channel before i lived here true that true that i didn't even live here yet was i too uh i i lived like i've lived in three other places before this when i met you and i still oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah i can do the uh, thing uh, Alex also asked if he wanted to send nuggies with the two dollar super chat. Hey, and he uh, remembered for fifty eight months. Jeez, goodness gracious! And unfortunately, that's as far up as this thing will go. Can I go to activity? Oh yeah, I can. Heck yeah, man! Uh, Nicholas with the ten months, American Eagle with new member, Justin Snow with his. It doesn't say how long. It said new member, but he's orange. He's been around. Just Snow's been around almost longer than anybody. I don't want to look at that. Uh, Bram with the 14 months. Ronnie, new member. Uh, Lane with the uh, the 199. Uh, I said, hey, DJ from 82 Studio Streams. Uh, Real Ringles, 15 months. American Semis, new member, but he's red. And uh, Farm Tech, 51, new member, but they are uh, guest stink. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, they dated two euro. He said, donation for the new beard. Thanks, man. And then they, Clutch wants me to look at his beard. Ugh. For 62 months, he was the first channel member. Of course he was. Look at look at, look at, look at like, even the hairs, they kind of... It's almost like they go straight through your fingers. Yeah, it's 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 just I, I can rub them. Oh, yeah. It's great. All right. Now turn that filter off, and let's see what you'd look like if we weren't being catfished. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, Trucker Betsy with the 44 months. What up, dude? Is that and better? We'll flex as well since you don't stream. I'd rather you just hit the... Do you, want to see my, do you want to see my beard now? I'd rather you change the voice. I don't like hearing your voice with, with that face. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. It was not. It was not um, fun. I'm going to try the stream fun. again potentially tonight. Uh, we broke the PC last night and stuff didn't happen, so we didn't stream. Um, maybe we'll do Among Us again, and I'll get. I had. Oh, we we had the Clutchlings playing Among Us with us. And they totally sold me out in stream. Totally sold me out. <laughs> I got voted off the island, and I wasn't even a bad guy. Um, so, anyways, if you see us on Twitch, you never know. We may be live on Twitch again, doing something different. You got a pretty face, is what we're saying. Pretty uh, mouth. You got, you got a party mouth. <laughs> Come on, you got to use the voice. <laughs> I don't have the voice when I'm laughing. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Uh yeah, so we'll see if we can live be live again tonight. 
but the beard looked really good. See, Granny liked the beard, so um, I, I listened to Granny. Oh, that's this is like DJ's face right now. What is going on here? Hey, hey, hey! No, -uh. definitely not this. You don't look this good. I just don't like that. The that just that style just doesn't quite look good on anybody. Isn't it the style you had? Oh yeah, legacy legacy's in here, but yeah. Anyways, he legacy uh, a couple weeks ago after the show, it's like he just kept commenting on. We were messaging back and forth, but he just kept giving me crap. I so, don't blame him. Yep. Please keep it up. Over and over. I was trying to mow the yard. Nope. He wouldn't, <laughs> he wouldn't leave me alone. Gertie's beard. DJ would melt. Oh, yeah. Can you do Gertie face with the beard? Love. I would, that. but I have to stand up. <laughs> Grow a few hairs. See, this is hilarious. This, this is what I'm talking about. I've been dealing with this all week. All week. I think I'm gonna. Uh, I may have to do a video, for like I don't know, release channel members or something, or maybe for everybody. I don't, I don't know what would get more or less views that or a, a blooper video. <laughs> like, here's me reacting to everybody trolling me, trolling my beard. Oh like, man. Uh, okay, well, um, I do have some clutch things that are just coming home. I gotta go take care of. My days. My day is being compromised. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging out and uh, <laughs> checking out my amazing, amazing K Sims beard. I think it's CGI. maybe maybe I should just have this permanently on. I think it is a tattoo. <laughs> I can't grow it this thick. It's usually it, like one hair that just kind of curls around and out. You... <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke. I'm perfect. I'm done, man. I'm done. All right. Well, thanks uh, for watching, guys. Uh, we are we are we doing this next week? Uh, hey, Anders, what up? Over thirty-three minutes. Yeah. Are we doing this uh, next week? I don't know. Uh, next week I'll have air conditioning, so it won't be eighty degrees in here. Right. Um. Ooh, the uh, the Rebel Moon Part Two comes out on Netflix next Friday, so I don't know if I'll be able to do the show or not. I'm free. I'm Such free. Excuse. Look, every time there's a movie that I want to watch, no matter what it's on, I always put it in here. Like Such uh, a weak excuse. What is it? Um, the Boys comes out. Uh, was it June? Was it June? Oh, boy. Was it June? So, yeah, yeah. June 13th, The Boys Season 4 comes All out. Right. It's such a good show. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I guess next week we'll, we won't do the show. Or maybe, you know what? There's one thing we could do next week instead. Oh, what is it? Huge like, shouty outie goes out to today's sponsor, G Portal Game Servers. <laughs> they promised to pay me in chicken nuggies for this. Did you know that G Portal has the fastest game servers? And in fact, you can choose from a whole plethora of locations so you get the fastest speeds. Plethora. Ple plethora. I like that word. G Portal Game Servers is also the easiest way to get you and your friends together in one game, regardless of which platform you play on. If it's Xbox, PlayStation, PC, any of you, you can all play together. And don't worry, you still get to play with all your mods. In fact, you can get 25 gigabytes of mod space on a G Portal game server. And even with all that, though you're getting the fastest server, some of the most amount of mod space out there, I'm going to give you 10% off with a link down in the description. And believe me, that's like the best deal out there. You're not getting that just anywhere. In fact, I have luck, guys. And believe me, I'm looking for the best price if I have to pay to hang out with these two jabronis. And just remember, guys, G Portal Game Servers, they're faster than DJ Goham going off topic. We may herd cats here, but we heard our livestock over on G Portal Game Servers. Make sure you get your 10% off. Link in the description. <laughs> I went off topic for like an hour and a half today. We did so good. I, I mean, we kind of saw that one coming for some reason. I think, I think the cats got a hold of it. Was it the hamster or the cats? Mm, it was like a wild tiger.
It's like, yeah, you know, nope, don't do that again. But it's like, let me hear your wild tiger, DJ Bot. Let me hear your wild tiger. Um, rawr? <laughs> That's not a very good tiger. But the, the, I just put the ducks on again because the feeding the ducks were off. I think the, the, the ducks didn't like your tiger, so. <laughs> Yeah, this is the last question. <laughs> I'm 